this video, I'm going to give you four great tips for when you use Zener diodes in your circuits so that you can get the very best from them, the best performance, and also so that you don't fall foul of any issues. One of the main circuits that uses them is the shunt regulator, and I'll use this as the basis for some of the explanations. So let's get started. First, remember they need to be current limited. Don't just place them across the supply. They need a series resistor to limit the current. It's easy to calculate the value of the resistor needed. It's simply the input voltage minus the regulated or output voltage divided by the current through the resistor. Secondly, you need to run enough current through the diodes to get them to break down properly. If you don't run enough current through them, then they won't give you the regulated output you need. For many diodes, this value is often about 7 milliamps, but that's a very rough figure. I tend to use 10 milliamps as a minimum, but check on the data sheet for your particular diode what the minimum current is. If you don't run enough through them, they won't break down and give you the right regulated output. Also, remember to leave enough margin so that when the load draws more current, there's still enough to keep the diode operating as you want. Thirdly, don't run too much current through the design. Make sure you keep it well within its rating. You don't want to burn it out. The power can be calculated by simply taking the maximum current the diode will pass and multiplying it by the regulated voltage. Many small diodes have a maximum power dissipation of four or 500 milliwatts and small surface mount ones less. If you can run it at a maximum of say 60%, then this will help the reliability. Finally, to get the best temperature coefficient if possible, use diodes with voltages around 5 to 5.5 volts, if you can. There are two breakdown mechanisms in these diodes, Zener breakdown, which occurs below about 5 to 5.5 volts, and above this, impact ionization progressively dominates. As these two mechanisms have opposite temperature coefficients, Selecting a diode with a voltage between 5 and 5.5 volts gives the most stable temperature performance. So those are my four design tips for using Zener diodes. If you need any more information, head over to the description where there's uh, more information and also some links as well, some useful links. But also, please don't forget to watch more of our videos, to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.